What do you want to do? I want to turn off console. Okay, now hopefully, hopefully, that works out okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Friday. Last week, we did our first banjo stream, and at the end of the stream, I was like, I'm just going to put the Xbox One into suspend mode, that way we will be able to come back to banjo at this exact moment, we won't have to like start Rare Replay and all that. And everyone was like, that's dangerous, don't do that, what if it doesn't work? And I'm like, it's... It's how the console works. It'll be fine. Everyone's like, we don't trust you. And I'm like, well, you're wrong. <laughs> like, It'll be okay. So I ended the stream. And after the stream, I even tested it. I was like, all right, I'm going to turn off the console, turn it back on, and go back to what I was doing. And it worked fine. I was like, easy. Today, um, before the stream began, I got everything turned back on for the to get ready for the second Banjo stream. And I booted up Banjo-Kazooie. It was exactly where it was. Nothing had changed. And I was like, cool. I went through the menus. I was moving it around. I was like, all right, everything's fine. We started the stream. And then when we got to the point where we're switching over to gameplay, I picked up the controller and it was frozen. The game froze. And it's upsetting <laughs> because then everyone was like, we told you so. And I'm like, that's, that's not... <laughs> That is an anomaly. It's not supposed to do that. It just happened to crash. It's very upsetting that it did that, but it was fine. Fortunately, we didn't really lose anything. Like, we had to go back into Clanker's Cavern, and you start at the beginning of Gruntilda's Lair, which is kind of a pain, but within three minutes, maybe, we were back where we were, so it wasn't a big loss. I'm putting it back into suspend mode tonight, so we'll see if it is fine next week. Uh... Banjo's fun. Um, I know you've been enjoying it so far. I have. It's very, it's very different than Tears of the Kingdom. Uh -huh. uh, we finished four worlds so far because we finished Clanker's Cavern tonight. And we also did uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp, and now Mao has tackled almost half of Freeze Easy Peak. Mm -hmm. So, what's been your favorite area so far? Um, because there's been because they're all so different. I liked the Gator. The little baby gator. Oh. You a gator? Oh, I'm so cute! Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. I had a feeling that was gonna be your answer. Some of the transformations are are very cute. I'm so. excited to see more. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, there's more transformations to come. Not every world has one, but most of them do. Um. Oh, the other thing is that uh, today was, yeah, today's iPhone day. So uh, I didn't get a new phone this year because I got a uh, 15 last year after having had a 12. Mal also had a 12, but she got a 16 this year. So it nothing's very different. It's no, just... It has a button. It has, it has two new buttons, and it takes photo better. But yeah. to some extent, that is kind of what every phone is every year, is it take photo better. And maybe if we're lucky, extra physical buttons. Um, I wanted to use today to talk about the fact that Extra Life is coming up. Extra Life is happening on November 9th, which is not that far away, which is somewhat terrifying to me. Uh, if you don't know what Extra Life is, every year we do a... Um, about 20 hour charity event to raise money for my hometown children's hospital, the McLeod Children's Hospital in Florence, South Carolina. It's uh, been something that we've done for, I think this is either the 12th or 13th year, 12th year, 13th, I don't know, a long time. And in that time, we've raised, I think, north of like $650,000, which is amazing. Uh, so this year, we're trying to raise another 100 grand. And we always have different consoles for people to choose from, and the way it works is that people make donations, and then whatever uh, game has the highest accumulated total of donations every half hour, we play that game. So it's a very, very fun event. We're constantly playing like completely different things, and it's always very interesting, like up to the wire, like two games might be neck and neck, and people are donating to each game, like which one we're going to play next. So this year we are doing uh, Wii U, we GameCube, and I'm hoping I won't regret this. We are bringing back Nintendo 64, so there are four libraries that you can choose from, and um, 
yeah, it's it's more set up, more poten- potential for things to go wrong. But uh, I think it'll just be a lot of fun to add in that system. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I always reserve the right to, to next year be like, oh, we can't have that many consoles. That was too many. But this year we're going to have four. So all of the N64 games are things that you can donate towards. Um, my N64 actually is uh, currently in the shop. Um, I give it to Roland, who has a repair person who um, he works with. And uh, the repair person opened it up and was like, ah, the mod chip that was installed on it was apparently done really badly. I didn't do it. I don't, I've never done any sort of hardware mod. I, I just bought it online. And uh, apparently it has uh, fried the board. So that's cool. So um, at some point I'm going to be getting that back and I should probably also pick up like a backup N64 maybe another one. I think Thomas has one. He can probably bring. Josh might have one. I don't know. I'll get a backup one from Roland, though. We we try to have two of every system that we're going to play, because, like, if something happens in the middle of the event, you want to be able to switch over to a another system. We had to do that last year, actually, because one of the GameCubes was like, actually, never mind. I don't want to work anymore. So, uh, it can always happen. But yeah, four different systems this this year. For a combined total of, uh, how many games is that? Uh, we's got 1,200, um, like, we's got like 1,250, and then GameCube's got 550, so that's 1,800, and then 1,800 plus 300 is 2,100, and then 2,100 plus, um, the Wii U library, which is about like 160, so, uh, just shy of like 2,300 games to choose from, um, so that's that's cool. That's a lot of potential games. So I'm I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what happens. But again, that's November 9th. Um, just put it on your calendar so you don't forget. We start at noon on twitch.tv slash Stephen George. And uh, I'll be talking more about it as it gets closer to. But um, you can go ahead and do early donations now if you'd like. You can go over that page. There's a place where you can uh, donate. And then there's a way to leave a message with your donation. And when you leave a message, just include the name of a video game from the N64, GameCube, Wii, or Wii U, North American library. We have all the games for those systems, but only the North American games, so please don't, please don't tell me to play, I don't know, some, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of a European exclusive release. Don't, don't ask me to play, like, Doshin the Giant. Like, I don't have that, so we can't do that one, but, um, yeah, any, anything else is fine. Yeah, uh, Based on how quickly we're moving through Banjo-Kazooie, my suspicion is that we will probably be finished with the game by Extra Life uh, because we're moving pretty quickly, but I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, do you, do you, want, do you want something? What do you need? You ready for food? Huh? It's food time. All right. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?